Can Elon Musk newly launch AI chatbot called, Grok, outperform ChatGPT? By the way, what was the motivation behind the creation of Grok? We will also be looking at the recent fake ledger app on Microsoft which stole about $588,000. Join me guys as we take a look into the SEC vs Ripple settlement feud. Do you think the lawsuit's result was an even 50-50 outcome for the SEC, or, was it closer to a 90 tenths advantage in favor of Ripple? Stick with me till the end to find out more. If this sounds like something of much interest to you, be sure to check out this new video starting now. Hello and welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest updates from the world of cryptocurrencies in general. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, we extend a special welcome to you. We invite you to hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, let's dive in. Elon Musk and his artificial intelligence, AI, startup XAI have released, Grok, an AI chatbot that can supposedly outperform OpenAI's first iteration of ChatGPT in several academic tests. Advertisement unlock premium trading experience with Markets Pro. Start your free trial. The motivation behind building Grok is to create AI tools equipped to assist humanity by empowering research and innovation, Musk and XAI explained in a November 5 X, formerly Twitter, post. Musk and the XAI team said a unique and fundamental advantage possessed by Grok is that it has real-time knowledge of the world via the X platform. It will also answer spicy questions that are rejected by most other AI systems, Musk and XAI said. Grok is designed to answer questions with a bit of wit and has a rebellious streak, so please don't use it if you hate humor. The engine powering Grok, Grok 1, was evaluated in several academic tests in mathematics and coding, performing better than chat GPT 3.5 in all tests, according to data shared by XAI. However, it didn't outperform OpenAI's most advanced version, GPT-4, across any of the tests. It is only surpassed by models that were trained with a significantly larger amount of training data and compute resources like GPT-4 inches. Musk and XAI said. This showcases the rapid progress we are making at XAI in training LLMs with exceptional efficiency. The AI startup noted that Grok will be accessible on X Premium Plus at $16 per month. But for now, it is only offered to a limited number of users in the United States. Grok still remains a very early beta product, which should improve rapidly by the week, XAI noted. The XAI team said they will also implement more safety measures over time to ensure Grok isn't used maliciously. We believe that AI holds immense potential for contributing significant scientific and economic value to society, so we will work towards developing reliable safeguards against catastrophic forms of malicious use. We believe in doing our utmost to ensure that AI remains a force for good, XAI added. The AI startup's launch of Grok comes eight months after Musk founded the firm in March. Furthermore, almost $600,000 in Bitcoin has been stolen from users who downloaded a fake Ledger Live application on Microsoft's App Store, according to cryptocurrency sleuth Zach XBT. The on-chain analyst spotted the scam, Ledger Live Web 3, on November 5th, which is tricking users into thinking that they're downloading Ledger Live, a user interface for Ledger hardware wallets to store cryptocurrency offline. Approximately 16.8 BTC worth $588,000 has been received by the scammer across 38 transactions using the wallet address, BC1Q, Y64Q, according to blockchain.com. About $115,200 has left the scammer's wallet across two transactions, leaving it with $473,800 or 13.5 BTC. In a follow-up post, Zach XBT noted that Microsoft may have removed the fake Ledger Live app from its platform. The first transaction sent to the scammer's wallet address took place on October 24 for $5,210. Before that, the wallet hadn't been used. Most of these transactions have occurred since November 2, with the largest transfer totaling $81,200 on November 4. A search by Cointelegraph found the fake Ledger Live Web 3 Inches application appeared in Microsoft's App Store as early as October 19. Zach XBT said he received two messages from victims on November 4 and even argued that Microsoft should be held liable for allowing the fake Ledger Live app to appear in its App Store. It isn't the first time a fake Ledger Live app has made its way into Microsoft's App Store either. Ledger's support account on X, formerly Twitter, informed its users about a fake Ledger Live app on two separate occasions in December and March. 
Ledger hasn't commented on the scam but has previously iterated to users that the only safe place to download Ledger Live is from its website, ledger.com. Cointelegraph reached out to Microsoft for comment but did not receive an immediate response. Now to our big question for the day. Do you think the lawsuit's result was an even 50-50 outcome for the SEC, or, was it closer to a 90 tenths advantage in favor of Ripple? Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings in the crypto space. Prominent cryptocurrency attorney John Deaton has offered insights into the United States Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, versus Ripple lawsuit. He contends that a settlement of $20 million or less would constitute a significant legal triumph for the company. In a recent post on X, formerly Twitter, Deaton strongly refuted the idea that the lawsuit's result was an even 50-50 outcome for the SEC, claiming that it's closer to a 90 tenths advantage in favor of Ripple. Deaton's remarks were prompted by a post from Stuart Alderotti, Ripple's chief legal officer, highlighting another legal setback for the SEC. Deaton's viewpoint resonates with the sentiment in the cryptocurrency community, which generally views the suggested $20 million settlement as a positive resolution for Ripple. This assessment considers the potential consequences of the XRP lawsuit and the broader regulatory environment for digital currencies. The people who've argued that the SEC got a 50-50 victory in the Ripple case are wrong. It was more like 90-10 in Ripple's favor. If Ripple ends up paying $20 million or less it's a 99.9% .9 legal victory. Stuart Alderodi's post further adds to the storyline, pointing out that the SEC faced another defeat this week, continuing a series of setbacks. According to Alderotti, in the case of the SEC v. Govel, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit ruled that the SEC cannot request a substantial disgorgement award without first demonstrating actual financial harm to investors. In essence, it implies that if there's no harm, there's no penalty. In December 2020, the SEC initiated legal action against Ripple Labs, accusing the firm of conducting an unregistered securities offering by selling XRP, its native cryptocurrency. Ultimately, a precedent was established when Judge Annalisa Torres determined that the asset was not a security when traded on the secondary market. Additionally, the case underwent significant changes as the charges against Ripple executives were reduced. Meanwhile, Torres has recently approved an order regarding the SEC and Ripple's joint request to propose a briefing schedule to address institutional sales of XRP. This relates to the segment of the XRP lawsuit in which the company was determined to have breached securities laws. Torres instructed the parties to provide a joint briefing schedule no later than November 9. Before we round up for the day, let's take a brief look at the brewing storm between PayPal and the SEC. Payment giant PayPal has received a subpoena from the United States Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, regarding its US dollar-pegged stablecoin. The subpoena requested that PayPal produce certain documents, the firm said. We are cooperating with the SEC regarding this request, PayPal noted in a financial report. The SEC has sued several of the largest local companies in the crypto industry, including its ongoing lawsuit against Coinbase. In October 2023, the regulator moved to dismiss its lawsuit against Ripple, the company behind the XRP token, one of the largest cryptocurrencies by market cap. So, if the SEC and PayPal issue get escalated, will it end same way as Ripple's court case with the SEC ended? Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments section. Write us anything down here, we are very eager to read you. Always remember that you are an important part of our community. With that we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also share this video to as many people as possible, let's get this news everywhere. See you in a future opportunity to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community. Thanks for watching.